Hey guys, it's me, Fox. Uh, today I'm gonna be making a video about the custom made um, equipment slash camera case. Um, I usually make um, cases for all of my devices which I'm sending to clients, uh, but uh, somehow I never made a video about making them. And today I'm gonna be making a video about making one of those cases uh, for my uh, portable monitors. So I have one screen, another screen, and a third one. Soon I'm gonna be going on a quite uh, important job uh, where I need uh, a screen, but just in case I want to have all of them if something goes wrong. So this is my old uh, case. Uh, which I wasn't terribly happy with. Uh, it comes with this pick and pluck uh, phone, which in no time looks like crap. Uh, and that thing flies everywhere. And a new one also comes with this thing. So I'm gonna be throwing it away uh, because I freaking hate that thing. And I'm gonna be replacing it with the solid foam. There are there are two options with the foam as far I remember or as far I'm making them. So one it's a AVA foam. It comes with uh, in a different colors. Uh, it comes like you know old colors, gray, black uh, and different densities. Uh, so that's reasonably hard foam and it could be very hard or kind of spongy. Um, that one is usually used for very heavy equipment. Um, so if something is um, like 10 kilograms, right? And with this soft foam it would just... Uh, I think that's a pretty good example. It would make indent like this. Um, so that's not a terribly good way, uh, that's why you want to use a uh, EVA phone, which is the, the hard stuff. But <clears throat> that thing, uh, and the other thing is, the with the, this phone, I usually keep around two centimeter gap between the holes. Um, for between the components in the case. Uh, with this phone, you can go to uh, one centimeter uh, walls, wall thickness. And for the screens, it's not really necessary to go with EVA because screens are pretty light. So, I think that would be all about the materials. And let's begin uh, making a case. With this foam I'm not very concerned about the precise measurements. Uh, I'm just measuring more or less uh, the range. All the cases are bent, so that's sometimes they bend that way, sometimes that way. Uh, this one seems to be going uh, inward. So here it's uh, 52 mm. Uh, sorry. 504, 501, and 504. So I think I will do it on 503 this way. All right. Yep. And this way it's 3.15 and 3.55. Yeah, my favorite software is uh, CorelDRAW. It's fairly easy and it works directly with the laser. So I'm gonna draw rectangle and 5.03 by I'm 
I'm gonna measure the corner radius which looks like it's uh, 15 millimeters and oh Jesus everywhere So I have uh, round edges. And now I'm gonna measure the screen, the biggest one. So the screen is 307 by 233. So that's my first screen. Now the back of the screen. Uh, that's 70 by 900, so I'm gonna make it 95. So I spare you me measuring stuff, so that slot it's for the other screen, that slot it's for the hood, and that one is for that screen. And now I have to put uh, a battery and the charger and some spaces for the cables uh, and the more cables uh, so I usually do slots for the cables which are round holes uh, that's quite natural way how you wind the cables in not like a square spots which you you know feed the cable like that and then it's all kind of wonky and bent um so i'm just gonna measure how much that loop has and it's 16 by 16 pretty much 15 and a half by 15 and a half centimeters um, so i'm gonna make the circle under the screen which is around 55 Okay, and I'm gonna put it in the center, and now I will move it into the other center, somewhere here. Cool. So I sorted the problem with all of the cables, they're gonna be under the screen, and now the battery, and uh, the foam is like that. If I put the battery like that, I think it would be sticking too much. So I'm gonna put it like this with the holes for the fingers. Okay, I've been measuring and measuring, <clears throat> and that's uh, what I came up with. Uh, so, screen, hood, screen, charger, battery, battery, charger, uh, I mean a power supply, some spare pocket for some random stuff, which I might put in, some HDMI cables and maybe a power cable or some stuff. And now I'm gonna split it into uh, three layers. Um, the case, uh, let me clean it up. Uh, the case comes, I think, with the three layers, which gives us uh, 15 centimeters. Three. I'm gonna split it into more of them. So control D, come on, move to a side, and control D. So now I'm going to be deleting it. Uh, so the first layer, uh, that's going to be the first one. So the top doesn't need this, doesn't need this. It needs all of those. Then the lower layer 
doesn't need the frame needs this needs this this doesn't need the let me check again so that's the battery so that's one layer charger one layer then uh, power supply power supply how does it go oh, that way uh, I think the power supply I'll do on two layers okay so come on that one off that one off that stays this stays and this stays and on this one uh, I think I'm good with the wires I'm good with this notice I leave the screens no need for this no need for this and that battery is uh, 10 so it's precisely two layers so it doesn't need this doesn't need that and no need for this and screens are how tall are they 13 okay so I'm gonna use the thinner phone for it so layer number one number two one two and three and uh, I found a wider phone um, so I'm gonna do this on a wider and that that one on uh, slightly narrower so now I'm gonna send it to a laser and it's gonna be like that I, I usually do I select something delete send it to a laser so here it is and now I'm setting up the speeds and for that I have to check so I think the speed will be five millimeters per second and the power um, hmm. Shit. Uh, maybe I'm gonna make it 18 I don't really remember the right settings now but we're gonna do a test cut to see if it's the uh, right setting okay download I'm gonna call it uh, what are you gonna call it uh, mm, tour case download okay and then I can actually send another one so going back undo delete this and send download monitor k2 download okay so i send all of the files to the laser and now let's go to the laser origin and now i'm gonna cut the circle uh, with the settings which i got from the computer origin start if it's cut come on it looks like it's cut all the way through so the foam is in and I'm gonna line up that edge because it's quite crucial to get it right so I'm gonna lower the laser just to the very middle of it move it up and now I'm gonna move the in here and correct for it. Move it again. Okay. 
I guess it won't be in the center anyway, precisely, because the foam is not cut straight. It's not, uh, you know, the aluminium, which you can have a straight edge. It's, uh, oh yeah, it's quite good. So that will be my uh, starting point. So you're going to set, set the origin in here and lift it up. So that's the height for that laser and that thickness. Uh, all of this. Some fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy stuff. Okay, and let's start cutting. And as you can see, there is no much smoke coming up. And it's done. So I can just remove those things. Ah, could be better. Now I'm going to make the inserts out of uh, one and a half millimeter thick foam. Perfect. And let's cut. Whoopsie, uh, I just left the laser alone for a couple of seconds and when I came back it was on fire. Um, that's actually the first time when it happened to me and I wasn't expecting that was going to happen on that phone but somehow it happened. So, conclusions, it's slightly too much power, 18 watts uh, turns to be way too much for one and a half centimeter thick uh, phone. So I'm gonna just leave it as it is and just speed it up. Okay, so I have my first layer of the foam. Cool. Looks good. And then the inserts. 
which are one millimeter bigger than the previous ones. Put those in. And I could glue it, but uh, I don't think it's necessary. Um, okay, that's uh, quite nice, I would say. The second layer goes like this. Just uh, perfection and the third layer goes like this All right so that one I could glue I guess perfect so now I can uh, start putting uh, stuff in so that goes in and the uh, big screen goes in. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna put it like this. Okay. Now the charger. Charger goes that way. Perfect. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, battery. And uh, the other charger. Oh, that one is a bit deep, but I think it fits. Another screen. And uh, some HDMI cable. Boom. What else? The uh, power cable. Just gonna drop it like that. And the screen. Perfect. I like it. And the battery. I forget to build the battery. I take it that way. Fits better. Okay. And here I have some compartment for a USB cable. good so if you want to adjust the stick up uh, of the components uh, you could cut uh, the same what they've done in here and put it here out of a thinner foam so one and a half would bring it to here which I think I should do it but uh, yeah that, that, that would look way better Right. Studi yeah, 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 definitely that would look uh, perfect. But yeah, I, I, I think for this video it would be enough. I can only hope to you enjoy that video. And if you are a super villain or Leon La Professional, um, hit me with a text message, call me, I'm your man. Uh, yeah, um, so with this funny accent, I would like to say, see ya!